lift me up, you bring me down, you make our whole world go around, we put our time and faith in you, we may waver but you never do, you're good as gold, you're right as rain, you take no credit and you take no blame, so lift me up and bring me All bragging rights on the line. Now, how many times have we talked about East Side versus West Side? It's ready to go here on EA Sports. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams.
you go. The Oilers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Takes the feed up ahead, and it's a quick pass to Hyman. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Cuts to the paint. Oh, my goodness, what a hit. As the coach told us before the game, they want to set a physical tone. There's a good hit early. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. The Penguins walk the line. Right in the slot. And he can't find his man. And he denied that opportunity. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Tries to the crease, and that goes off the side of the frame. Streaking in all alone. Moves right to the middle, and that Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. And the puck banks off the bomb. Taken by Dreisaitl. And now he tries to get it across to Barry. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. And that's broken up. Quick feed to Heinen. Edmonton's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Right in the low slot. Oh, what a hit. Ray, you can hear that from here. How about you? Yeah, oh yeah, that'll give you a headache. That was a solid hit. Cutting to the slot. Puck scooped up by Nugent Hopkins. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a chance in front. And that's picked off. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Here's the scoring chance. Two on one. They stop. The man advantage break is sprung here, and they execute it perfectly. Two different views from either side of me. One coach not happy they gave up the man advantage break. The other one's pretty pumped with how they executed it. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Pittsburgh's up one zip. Edmonton's won it. Break away. Sends it over. Whoa. Looked like the goalie was expecting a deke. He got back a little deep in the net, and the puck beats him with the shot. The Penguins have to be feeling good about themselves extending the lead to two. They should. They've played a terrific hockey game, and now so close to the end of the second period, they want to bring it right to the intermission just like this. Moves it quickly over to Zucker. And no luck on that pass attempt. 
And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. The Penguins have it from their own end. Slides it across to Zucker. Here he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Slides it over with pace to pull Yarvi. Matheson's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. And it takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, it stops him again. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Quick pass to Rodriguez. Rocks him. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Here's a short pass to Bouchard. From his own end, he picks up the puck. From the right side, moves it up ahead. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Quick pass oh, to Gensel. Man. They've got some momentum here. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Right out in front. Can't get it to go. And now it's grabbed by McDavid. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. Here's a shot. Club save. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Latang's got great skating skills, even when he's moving backwards, guys. That's his in-reverse zone ability, and that's how he faces forward so effortlessly, even when he's backing up. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Teams back on the ice, they're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And now it's over to Pugliarvi. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Dumps it into the other end. The Oilers will play it against the Bulldogs. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Puck picked up by Latang. Now he slides it up to Crosby. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. The Penguins going to work on offense. Can't connect on the pass. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Goaltenders out to play the puck. Jari's got the puck in his own zone. Feeds it over to Crosby. Up along the wall. The... He's got a step. Scores! Once he gets clear of everybody chasing him, now he's got his head up and he finishes his breakaway beautifully. He does this all the time. I'm not even surprised anymore. That puck is delivered fast, crisp, and it's flat. Easy pass to handle. He can make those crisp, accurate passes, and we saw it on that play, guys. His tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability helped set up that goal, and he's got the assist. Moved out in front! Can't connect! The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. And they won't connect on that one. Quick feed to Yamamoto. All alone! Oh, what a stop on the one-on-one! -on -one. What a great play to get in on the goaltender all by himself, but turned away with an excellent save. Takes a hit on the play. Denied by the blocker. Jari's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Puck grab by Zucker. Taken by Rust. 
The Oilers look to start the transition game. Puck scooped up by Marino. Takes it across the blue line. Look out! How did he stop that one? Oh. oh, they do it again! I know you're nice and tidy up there, James, but that's a messy hit right down here. Gives them nothing in front. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Start. It'll look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good one. Pittsburgh's got it, and they're on the attack. And now he moves it to Matheson. Right on the doorstep. Huge stop by Smith. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Feeds it down low. Moves it up. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Oh, what a stop as he gets a piece of it with his toe. Moves it to Ruino. Trying to clear. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. That's turned away with the pad. The score! It's in! He gets a hold of his home rebound and makes it count the second time. Bang, bang, shot off the goalie. The puck falls down, and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound, and he puts it in. Guys, that's an example of what happens when he uses his speed there. His wheel zone ability really allows him to break away from the opposition and get those scoring chances and put it in the back of the net like we just saw there. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pugliarvi. Headman pass. And now he angles it across to Nurse. Let's it go. He scores. I believe a calling of ours likes to call those back to back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. As we get another look at this nice goal here, that's good finish. Check out the pass. This play does not happen without that unbelievable sweet dish onto the stick of the shooter. Here in the late going of the frame. Edmonton's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. From one point man to another. Moves it quickly over to Rodriguez. And they come up empty-handed. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Sharp reaction, 
save. Quick pass to Pugliarvi. Break away. Here's the pass. Wow. Scores! What a finish. Yeah, once he gets into the clear, it's like he's so decisive on what he wants. And he puts it away for the goal. That's a terrific comeback for them. They've been playing from behind the entire game. They finally tie it up. The Oilers got new life on the bench. You can see it as they even things up in the late stages of the second. Where I'm standing, it's pretty easy to tell that they've just scored really a lot of excitement. Now the game is tied as we have just a few minutes left in this middle frame. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Passed up ahead. Moves the puck to Carter. Nothing doing on that. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. And that pass can't connect. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. All right, here we go. A big third period set to go. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Third period, we are all tied up, and the next goal could be a biggie. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Gensel, and couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Fails to find the open man. He's got a step. There's the double G of the game, the great glove save. Now he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's all tied up. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Just slide to the net. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. And look at this, a three-on-one. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. He grabs the puck here at the point. Simple stop by Jari. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The setters will glide into the dot. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. He tries to tuck it in. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Pittsburgh's got it in all alone to his teammate. And they can't convert to the play. And now he tries to get it across to Marino. Off a stick. Breakaway. Denied. I don't know what more could be done there. That's a good shot, but the goalie makes a great stop. Trying to clear the zone. They get it done. And now it's grabbed by Keith. From the right side, they gain the zone. The Penguins have it against the wall. Edmonton's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Oilers gain control of it. Oh, wow, stops again. I love the way that he's in position, and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. The Penguins pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. A chance in front, and they can't connect. Yamamoto's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's a short pass to Keith. Takes it into the slot. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Handles the pass from his goalie. Oh, these are the games I love, James. You know I always talk about how much I like offense. A one nothing game's great, but these wild, high-scoring affairs... They're the most fun to call, and by far the most fun to play in. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Slides the puck across to Carter. Slides it across. 
beautiful glove stop on that one. Smith's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Here in the back half of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck picked up by Lejeson. And he moves it up to McLeod. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And that's off a stick. Picked up along the wall by Rodriguez. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Made the stop on that play. Quick feed to Sevier. That pass doesn't go. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The Oilers have it now. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. They go on the attack through center. Oh, and he whiffs on it. The Penguins ready to go on the attack. And that goes off a player in front. And that's just out of reach. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Rocks him against the boards. That's a great hit. I love the way that he took the ice away and slammed him into the wall. Rust's going to play into the corner. And that's stopped by Smith. The Oilers move it ahead. Situation critical as we approach the final minute of the third. Drives to the paint. He scores! We've got the lead now. Everybody's up on the bench. They've got the energy. You want to push forward. He doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. The snapshot beats the goaltender from the high slot. The Penguins have taken a critical one-goal lead here in the third. What's the strategy now? The strategy shouldn't change. You now accept you have a little bit of a cushion, and it's that one-goal lead. And he slides it quickly to Gensel. Dumps it into the O-zone. And that's taken away in the offensive end. He scores! What an effort. They keep staying at the game. They push. They're looking for the tying goal. They finally get it. One of the more difficult spots for the goaltender to cover is that area just above the pad, low on the stick side. The Oilers have even things up late in the third. Does this change strategies now? Oh, for sure it does. Coaches will shorten this bench right down. You might see players going every second shift on the way down the stretch. Moved in front, and that pass is redirected. The Penguins have it behind the net. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Picked off by Bouchard. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Can't get it to go. Comes up with the stop. There's another stop. He gets that one, too. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. The Penguins play it along the boards. Look out. Here they come on the attack. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. There's the horn. Neither team giving an inch to each other tonight. And so we'll go to overtime next. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski here in the broadcast booth. They are ready to drop the puck on OT. Oh, you can feel the tension in this arena. Sudden death overtime is underway. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it. Great extension on the play. It's one thing to go fast. It's another when you've got the puck on your stick. It does not slow him down, and he gets right in tight for a chance on goal. 
Moves it quickly over. Game on a stick. And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Puck grab by Dumoulin. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Taken by Gensel. Quick pass to Nurse. And now it's over to Pugliarvi. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. On the doorstep, backhander. There it is! OT winner! From my vantage point, is it me or did you spill your drink when that overtime goal went down? No, your vantage point, like lots of you do, is partly cloudy. Now that's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. He establishes position low in the slot and zips the backhander past the goalie. And that'll do it for Ray Burrow. I'm... James Sabalski, thank you.